Welcome to Coastline, a small-sized map with highly destructible walls and floors, which allows for many lines of sight. This map has two floors, the first floor and the second floor, with access from the roof. Coastline is shaped like a square, with the courtyard in the middle. The courtyard is an open area that's accessible from the roof and from both floors. This area is very dangerous. You should avoid rappelling here because you can be taken down quickly. Let's start the tour from the main lobby. This area is also unsafe because it's accessible from many places on the map as well as from the outside. Note the south stairs that lead to the second floor. They can put you in a dangerous line of sight. From here we have a good view of the hallway. Then we move north towards the toilets. Then breach through a destructible wall into the service entrance. Let's go west into the kitchen. As you can see, you can access this room from the outside through the window. For the west, you can access the hallway with the north stairs that lead to the second floor. This area also leads back to the main lobby. Note the room's names on the walls. They can help you find your way around the map. Let's enter the Sunrise Bar. As you can see, this is a big area with lots of open spaces. The south window provides access to the outside. Now we'll breach through a destructible wall into the blue bar and then head into the office the sunroom, the security room, and back into the main lobby. Let's take the south stairs to move up to the second floor. Through the second floor hallway, we reach the theater and the penthouse. These two rooms are the most important areas on the second floor because they contain many objective sites and lots of destructible floors, which is the case for most of the second floor, actually. Let's move up to the bathroom. Note the hatch in the ceiling. That's an important opening because it's the only hatch that provides access from the roof. Now we'll breach into the Hall of Fame, which is also an important room on the second floor. It provides access to the outside via the DJ booth. To the west is the VIP lounge. The destructible floors here provide a view to the kitchen below. Now we'll move back into the hallway. Note how you can see and be seen across the courtyard through those windows. Now we'll head north towards the north stairs, which we saw earlier. They lead back down to the hallway on the first floor. The next room is the hookah lounge, an area that's accessible from the outside through the hookah deck. From here we breach into the billiards room and then move on to the aquarium. You can access this room from the balcony outside. Now we'll go through the south hallway. Note the line of sight across the courtyard. You can be spotted easily here, or you can use this place to spot your enemy. Now we'll continue east and go back towards the south stairs, which we saw earlier. Coastline offers three spawn points. Located east is the main entrance. The poolside spawn point is in the northwest. The ruins entrance is in the southwest. Overall, the map is highly destructible, providing many lines of sight. Its design features many narrow corridors and only two staircases. One final tip, coastline is prone to runouts, so stay on your toes when you venture outside. Party's over, operators. It's time to strike.